Well, now that we have created report and form pages, let's take a look at another aspect of building applications. And this will be pretty much the last thing for you to do to complete the project. Okay, so we're going to look at something called as master detail pages. Okay, so let's recap. What we did was we created a report and form combination for maintaining data on customers. Okay, so for every entity type on our logical model, we need to think about whether we should create a standalone report form combination like what we did for customers or is it better to maintain that particular entity type in combination with something else okay so clearly speaking if you take an example of customers it's you know it makes sense for us to maintain the information about customers separately in the sense that we want to have a single form in which we only deal with customers right so we see a report of all the customers and then we have the option to either create a new customer or we can take any of the existing customers and operate on them which is you know to make changes or to delete those customers okay so so as far as customers are concerned it makes sense to think about customers in isolation okay similarly if you consider products same thing we can maintain information about products in isolation it doesn't have to be done in combination with some other entity type okay whereas for some other situations it wouldn't make sense to maintain that information in isolation okay take the classic example of sales orders okay now we've already seen that you've got sales orders and you've got products and there's a many to many relationship between sales orders and products okay in other words in one sales order we may have multiple products which are being ordered and a given product may appear on many different sales orders okay which is why because of this many to many relationship we've got an associative entity called order item in our logical model too it's there okay now if you really think about it we are not going to maintain information separately for sales orders and for order items okay it makes sense for us to see a sales order and along with that in the same screen see the items which are in that sales order now items are nothing but products in the sales order okay so for the combination of sales orders and order items it is better to deal with them on a single screen rather than have a separate screen for sales orders and another separate see screen for order items okay so the sales order is called the master and the order items in that sales order are part of the details of the order okay so this is what we mean by creating a master detail form okay now master detail forms will come up whenever we have associative entities in this particular case it came up because of the associative entity called order item the associative entity will be the detail and one of the two main entity types connected with it will become the master now which one of them uh, you have to decide one of them will be logically the better choice okay so in the case of sales orders the associative entity is order item and the two entity types that are connected to it are sales order and product okay it's very very logical to have to edit details for order items along with sales orders not along with products okay so that is why we choose sales order as the master and order item as the detail okay so again just to reiterate whenever you have an associative entity type it will be the detail on a master detail form 
okay the only question is which is going to be the master and one of the two entity types connected to it will be the master and the associative entity type will be the detail and the other one which is connected to the associative entity that will just have its standalone form okay so in this case we'll have standalone form for products and we'll have a master detail form to cover sales orders and order items okay so that's what i'm explaining here sales orders and our order order items will be handled in a single master detail page and we'll not create a report and form combination for sales orders separately okay for products we will do that we will have a separate uh, you know report form like we did earlier for products okay so now let's go and take a look at how do we create master detail pages okay so once again what we do is we go back to uh, our main uh, page application page okay back in the application builder and then we click on create page okay so notice that here we have our uh, the uh, logical model in which we've got sales order we've got product and then we've got order item as the associative entity okay and as we've discussed there's no point in seeing sales orders or order items in isolation okay so we create uh, a master detail and order items it makes sense to see them only in the context of a sales order okay so sales order will be the master and order item will be the detail okay so for every associative entity type the associative entity type will be the detail and one of the other two things will become the master and which one it is depends on the context okay so again we have selected the option to create a new page and this time we select master detail okay earlier we were selecting classic report now we select master detail and then here uh, all of these are valid choices the user interface will just look different in terms of what this the screen is asking is well i have three options for you when we create master detail page how do you which option would you like in terms of how it looks okay now i suggest that you choose drill down because it seems to be the most natural way to deal with or uh, with master detail okay i found it to be most natural if you want you could select one of the others i don't mind but i suggest drill down okay so once you click drill down what happens is you come to this page and here it's going to ask you for information about you know which is your master entity type which is your detail master table which is your detail table and so on okay so here we are going to have uh, notice here that the name for this report is sales orders you could call it sales order report okay and it's asking you to select the table so you can select sales order okay and then again create a new entity a new navigation entry that's the default so you can leave it as it is okay so leave that page mode as normal like before and then uh, we leave your workspace name as it is select the sales order table and then navigation let it create a new entry okay so then we can create uh, next and then it's asking you for uh, since we've already selected the sales order table it's just confirming the primary key and of course it got it right so we don't need to really worry about it and a uh, form navigation order okay that is in which order should the sales orders be shown in the report okay so we are saying show them by the sales order id that's the sequencing which is fine okay then it goes to this other page and now it asks wants details about the detail page okay so it says uh, well what is the name of your detail page i call it order detail okay uh, and then here the uh, by default in other words it's now going to ask you which is your detail uh, table 
Okay. Now, obviously, if you look at our entity relationship diagram, the only possibility for the detail table is order item because that's the only one connected properly uh, to sales orders. Okay, sales order is our master, and only something that is connected to it can be a detail, and it also has to be connected as a one to many in the correct direction. Okay, so we say here when we select show only the relevant tables, uh, related tables. You know, it's not going to show you all the tables when you click on the drop down. Okay, so when you click on this drop down, it shows only order item because that's the only relevant one, and you can choose that. Okay, and then it's going to again verify the primary key, which is order item ID. Fine, it got it right. And then here it de it says master detail foreign key. In other words, what is the column that connects? the master table to the detail table okay so again if you drop it down it's going to show you a uh, sales order id on the master is going to connect to the sales order id of the detail that's what this thing is and that's the only option available you can select it okay that's it you're done uh, when you now create uh, say create page it goes ahead and creates this page uh, you can just save and run it and uh, it comes up with the screen. So this is your sales order report. Now, as of now, we don't have any sales orders, so it's coming up empty. Now, just like before, you can go ahead, create, and it's asking for the sales orders. It's asking you for uh, what is the date of the sales order, okay? What is the customer ID, okay? That is, of sales order has to have a customer. So it's asking you, that's the foreign key. And it has already created a drop down. Okay, so you can select a date. You can select, uh, you know, pull down the uh, customer ID field and pick out a customer because we already have two customers. It's going to show you the two available customers. We pick out one of them uh, and then we can say create. Okay, and then it comes to the report page for sales orders. Okay, so we've got a sales order. And now we want to add details to the sales order. Okay, this is just a report page. Now we are going to go to the master detail form page. Okay, so in order to do that, let's edit this particular. When you click on the icon to edit an individual sales order on the report page, it then brings you to this page. Okay, notice that this page really has two parts. On the top are the details of our sales orders okay and in the bottom are order items okay so that's the master area this is the detail area and this is what we call as the master detail page okay so that's the master area for sales orders this is the detail area for order items okay now in general whenever you create a master detail page uh, the associative entities details they come as part of the detail they come in the bottom and the main entity through which you're getting to the associative entity that will be on top in the master area okay now uh, when you try to enter data for master detail uh, there are some subtleties that come in right now notice that we've got the sales order but we don't have any details in the bottom for the uh, order items okay in the next video we'll look at some of the subtleties of entering values for that.